Uh, to another story now, and you can forget about Melbourne's underbelly or Sydney's King's Cross. According to reports today, the new crime capital of Australia is the Gold Coast. Behind the shine of the golden sand and vibrant theme parks, a more sinister side to the Gold Coast has begun to emerge. What's happening there at the moment is completely unacceptable. In the past weeks, the police union says this beautiful city has been plagued by gun crime and out-of-control drug gangs. On May 29th, Detective Senior Constable Damien Leading is fatally shot in an armed robbery. A week later, on June 4th, and a man is shot in the shoulder at his home in Warren Gary. June 15th, a convicted drug Cook is also shot in the shoulder and a pregnant woman assaulted during a home invasion in Wonga Wallen. In Gilston on July 12th, a home intruder is shot with his own gun and dies in a suburban street. And yesterday in Broadbeach Waters, a man is found dead after being shot in the back on one of the Gold Coast's busiest roads. Authorities are now questioning whether there are even enough police to actually stop the crime spree. So is the sunny Gold Coast out of control and what can be done? to stop this tourist mecca from losing its shine. On the Gold Coast is local criminal lawyer Bill Potts. Bill, the crime capital, it's hardly the title you want for a major tourist location. Why is this happening? Well, uh, we don't want that uh, to be the uh, title, the new uh, uh, name for the Gold Coast. This is not the sandy underbelly of Queensland. Uh, the problems on the Gold Coast are very difficult. We have a combination of uh, desperation, uh, people uh, in poverty, but more importantly, we, there's been an upsurge in drug-related crime and gun-related crime. The statistics are very worrying, but the police are doing their best to uh, combat what seems to be a crime wave. The police union says there's not enough police. Uh, Anna Bly has come out today and said a special task force has been set up to stamp out crime. Will that help, do you think? Uh, it will go a long way. Uh, the police force is, I suppose, really the biggest gang in town. But being uh, proactive and uh, struggling with the statistics and struggling with the crime rate is not enough. What we really need is a whole-of-community approach. The police need to be supported by the community. Now, mate, you've got schoolies coming up in a few months. I mean, parents are always dubious letting their kids go to the Gold Coast. Do you think numbers are going to be down and tourism is going to be affected? It may do. I mean, we're surfing this uh, crime rate and uh, the Gold Coast is getting something of a reputation of the, of the sin city of the north. What I'm hoping is that uh, parents won't uh, lock up their children and say, don't come. The Gold Coast is still a safe and great place for families and, and as well for schoolies. But uh, yes, the combination of alcohol, the combination of uh, young people and foolish behaviour can lead to problems. But I'm sure that's a, a, a situation that happens across uh, all major cities in Australia. Bill, given that the Gold Coast is marketed as being the Vegas of Australia, if you like, when you push it as being this party city, doesn't that invite the bad elements in as well? It does. Uh, I suppose crims have to go on holidays as well. Uh, but uh, what's happening is uh, we are importing uh, the problems from other states as well as our homegrown variety and some of those crims are staying and uh, going about their business. The Gold Coast is still open for business. It's a good place. Uh, but uh, yes, we'd uh, hope that some of the crims would stay away. Well, Bill, some of my favourite blurry memories are from Schoolies <laughs> Week on the Gold Coast. Hopefully you can clean it up. We hope so too.